This story is called Little Donkey's Wish. It was originally published in German as Yoshi's Größte Wunsch. It brings together the talents of three amazing women. The writer is Udo Weigelt. The translator from Finland is Pirko Vainio. And the illustrator from America is Marianne Martins. Little Donkey's Wish first became a book in Switzerland, and it was in the German language. It was written by Udo Weigelt. You can find <clears throat> other books by Udo Weigelt, including the very funny Super Guinea Pig to the Rescue. You can also find other books not only illustrated by, but also written by Pirko Vaino, including this one, the wonderful The Best of Friends, the tale of a hare and a bear. And finally, this is the face of Mary Ann Martin. She's a professor at Kent State University, very well regarded and well renowned professor, and she has made amazing contributions um, to children's literature. She herself has translated more than a hundred books, picture books of various kinds, and she's lectured all over the world, everything from Harry Potter stories to apps to help children learn. Um, she's an amazing person who's made a big contribution. So those three professionals collaborating together have created Little Donkey's Wish. It was a quiet evening in the barn. The only sound was the chomping of the donkeys gathered around the manger eating their dinner. So, said Frederick, the biggest and strongest donkey of them all, today is Christmas Eve. What do you wish for? The donkeys thought for a minute. I wish for a nice new summer hat, said Daisy. And I wish I could have an extra portion of carrots every day, said Max, the fattest of the donkeys. The others laughed. I could use a new blanket, said Frederick. Josie, the youngest and smallest donkey, didn't say anything at all. She was so little that sometimes the others teased her and said that she might not even be a real donkey. Most of the time, they just ignored her. But Josie had wishes, too. In fact, she had many. One was that she wanted to grow big and strong as fast as possible. Another was that she wished she could pull the farmer's cart all by herself, while the others gazed on in amazement. And she had another secret wish, one that was just as impossible as growing up in a hurry. Josie tucked herself into the corner of her stall. Malina, the barn cat, snuggled against her legs to comfort her. Suddenly the barn door opened, and there in the doorway stood Santa. In a deep voice, he wished them all a good evening. One of my reindeer isn't feeling well, said Santa. I'm looking for a substitute, and I was wondering if one of you would be willing to help. Oh! Josie's heart beat a little faster. Then she thought, No, Frederick is so strong, and Daisy is so fast. Why, even Max would probably be a better choice for Santa than I would. Sadly, she hung her head. The other donkeys were eager to help. Santa went from one donkey to the next, you're a fine, strong donkey, he said to Frederick, who proudly lifted his head. And you must be the fastest donkey of all, he said to Daisy. And you, Max, I'll bet you could pull two sleighs all by yourself. Josie hid in the shadows. Santa will just say I'm too small, she thought. He probably won't believe I'm a real donkey either. 
Suddenly, Melina meowed. And before Josie could tell her to be quiet, Santa had discovered Josie. Aha! Here's another donkey, he said. He looked very large, standing there with his hands on his hips. Hmm, I wonder if you'd be willing to help me. Don't you think I'm too small? Josie asked. Everybody always tells me I am, she added sadly. Well, as a matter of fact, said Santa, I think you're just the right size for the job. But if you're not interested... Oh, oh, I am, shouted Josie. She was so excited. She started babbling. I I'd love to help however I can, or, or however you let me, or however I should, or who. Santa smiled and led Josie out past the other donkeys, who just stood and stared in disbelief. When Josie saw how big Santa's sleigh was, her heart sank. The reindeer looked mighty big, too, and, and so proud. But in the very back, right in front of the sleigh, there was one reindeer, one who was much smaller than the others. He was so small that some might think he wasn't even a real reindeer. Santa hitched Josie in, right next to the little reindeer. Hello, said the reindeer. Are you the substitute? Get ready, we're going to go fast. I'll do my best, promised Josie. Santa cracked his whip. The reindeer started running faster and faster, and the sleigh rose high in the air. Josie didn't even have time to be afraid. She was too busy working along with the others. She was just as fast and pulled just as hard as they did. You're doing great, the little reindeer said. They landed on rooftops where Santa ducked down chimneys. They landed on snow-covered streets and squares they landed next to a children's hospital and in front of an orphanage. Everywhere they went, Santa distributed presents. It was all over much too quickly, and soon they were back at Josie's barn again. Santa unhitched her and led her to her stall. You were a big help to me, little Josie, he said loudly enough for the other donkeys to hear. I hope that you will help me again next time I have a sick reindeer. Of course I will, any time, said Josie. So, do you have any Christmas wishes for Santa? Josie thought for a minute. Then she said, uh, um, I wish for a new hat for Daisy, um, a nice blanket for Frederick, and for Max... <laughs> extra carrots every day. <laughs> Santa laughed. Nothing for yourself, Josie, he asked. Oh, tonight I got my secret wish, Josie replied. I flew with Santa Claus. The end. This story about Christmas, in its English translation, is called Little Donkey's Wish. The story was written by Udo Weigelt. All the illustrations were done by Pirko Vaino. And the translation, from German into English, was done by Professor Marianne Martins. <laughs>